Ooh, what's up guys, my boys, welcome to our LBA final. Yay, we made it! For some reason we made it, and we're going against Maiden Dude or Ab, which actually is a really, really strong battler and um, just a very good person in general. Uh, I will say this, he is a very, very worthy person to get out of the final for the other division that was playing. So this is more a prestige game, but it is also, you know, who has the best draft from individual divisions. Like I said there, uh, this is a cross division game basically, and we both have Mega Scissor. Yes. So, goddamn, this was a very, very hard to prep for. Not because necessarily Mega Scissor is hard to deal with, but when you have Mega Scissor on your own, you kinda don't give a shit about trying to adjust yourself for a possible other Scissor, right? But, you know, obviously I made some adjustments. I should go over his team here because he didn't bring something I was really sure I was gonna bring, which was Mandibus. But outside of that, his team is extremely bulky. Um, and it is on the slow side with a few fast attackers, such as <clears throat> that the Diggersby and, of course, the um, Wimsicott. Not Diggersby is not necessarily fast. I think it's, I think Heatran is faster. Never mind. But I only I always imagine myself Diggersby being fast, being whatever. And um, yeah, Diggersby was uh, a mod that I was seeing coming. Uh, outside of that, they got Heatran, Scissor, of course, the Mega, ooh, and uh, <laughs> Slowbro, which was a mod I felt like shit. There is one of those mods together with Manibus which can't be 2 hit killed by Southland. Damn those mods. Uh, and then I got Hiriyama, and I think Hiriyama is a very, very good choice against me. Mostly because he can't solo out the sand with the flags of Fake Out, but also it soaks hits. It doesn't necessarily retaliate too well, but it can soak those hits. And against the likes of my Thunders and stuff like that, I definitely respect that choice. I think that was a very, very good pick from his side. And uh, I myself here is bringing in, and also thank you to Escalo over at the Quill for helping me uh, picking out Dragonite. I wasn't sure of my complete team here. I had a few options. I knew exactly which ones I didn't want to use. So basically I have a team of five, which I knew was going to work, which are the other ones. And then was between Dragonite and God of War. Uh, I had Dewblade somewhere behind, but you know, Mega Sister and all with knockoff, no. Um, so Dragonite here is Expropelled set with Roost. Uh, Flamethrower, Thunderbolt, and Earthquake. And it's basically a wall breaker. It's a lead. Uh, it's just gonna do massive damage. Uh, Scar Kelio scoffed to outspeed his Thunder's T, which, as you guys can see, is not a part of the team. So that's unfortunate. Uh, but it's scarfed. It uh, hurts well, anyway. It doesn't really. It does well against his team outside of Slower, really. And uh, then we have, of course, Thunder's, which is as a sub. A uh, nasty plot set. If I pull up a nasty plot, I basically win this match. Uh, but I need a sub up to kind of defend myself, and it works well against Scissor since both of its stabs are resisted. Uh, so, yeah. I'm gonna say this Thunders was a very good choice overall for this match. Um, then we have Tyranitar, which is uh, Shukaberry and is uh, max attack and I do believe defense. And it's able to take uh, from full HP a uh, Life Orb Earthquake from Diggersby. Uh, if that would be the force of that situation. I have Superpower, uh, Crunch, Stone Edge, and uh, I had one more move. I think it was Stealth Rocks or something like that. Um, Crunch, Stone Edge, Superpower. Yeah, I think something like that. Anyway, and then we got Stoutland, which is a Life Orb set this time with Fire Fang. Fire Fang actually does 80% on a Mega Scissor. That's pretty fucking scary. I could have gone for a bandit set, but it's still a freaking slow bro on that team. <laughs> and of course, no heat from flash fires. I was like, nah, nah, I'll avoid that. And then we have Scissor, which is a full defensive set with max HP, sword stance, roost, and knockoff and bullet punch. So, uh, yeah, knockoff is basically there to make sure that nothing can take a hit from it. Like. <laughs> Obviously, though, like, Heatrick can still manage my scissor, but outside of that, my scissor hurts. Um, the only thing I was kind of, um, I should say, is going into this game, I was really not looking forward to facing a scissor on my own, mostly because my response for his scissor is my scissor, uh, or Thunderous to some extent, but I want to use Thunderous in another way if I can. But yeah, with the team matchup, I was thinking Dragonite can lead, hurt something, and then I'll figure stuff out. Things, things up as go because let's face it, Ab is a good player, and uh, I, I really, really was thinking, how do I break apart a team such as this? And um, yeah, that's uh, that's the question. That was the question I was asking myself all night. So anyway, with all that said, let's get into this game.
So right, from the get-go he will leave with Hiroyama and we'll, he will decide to switch out. And I was feeling that, you know, I could go for air, air slash or something like that or Hurricane. So I was feeling that maybe Heatran comes in. No, Slowbro comes in. And that's a good response too. Like he could have fear of course the likes of uh, Dragon Dance. But here I'm just going to go for Thunderbolt. And you guys will see this does massive damage on the Slowbro. And he goes to a Trick Room. So I was feeling right. He's not going to sack Slowbro. He's going to definitely use the Regenerator. So I'm better off going for Flamethrower. Hoping to hurt something on the Switch in. So I was really hoping not Hiriyama basically. So he goes to his Whimsicott. So boom. I don't kill it which is actually kind of unfortunate. But we do hurt it massively. Massively damaged right there. And uh, yeah. I was feeling really 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 good at this time. Uh, so I'm just going to keep going for Flamethrower. Because Thunderbolt doesn't necessarily kill it. Nor will any other move that I got. And the Whimsicott is really annoying to deal with. So I go for Flamethrower. And uh, yeah. Is Ariyama. That's a salt vest for sure. And uh, I'm just gonna go to my own sister, feeling that it's very likely, or you know, any move it goes for, uh, I can soak it because, like I said, I am max defense. So it goes for knockoff, and we're gonna nom nom that up. Now, the thing is here, and I'm just gonna start out the bat. I go for knockoff directly here, but um, this is a thing, and I can't really stress this enough. Uh, we had to recreate this game because I got a DC actually. But I should say it as it is. I go here for sword stance afterwards, and so will he. So we're both threatening one another. Uh, but I did a bit of. Uh, I, I clicked the wrong button. I went for roost for some reason while this was going on. The reason I say this is because I won the first speed tie, and I was thinking that, wow, did I really put four on my speed? I wonder, did I really do that? And if so, you know, I was I was not thinking clearly. I really wasn't. So while he goes for a sword stance, um, I go for a sword stance too, basically. And like I said, we are in a tie here. And I went for two, oh, two, that, that's Swedish, two sword stance. And then he actually, uh, on the last matchup, I actually decided to go for a knockoff, trying to force him down to 50%. But he outspeeded and killed me. So uh, the reason I keep going for sword stance here is because he won this matchup without me denting him at all. And the reason I say this is because it would have been the superior player actually forcing him down to 50%. But that didn't happen. I decided here to go to Keldeo. What I should have done is gone to Dragonite since I have a moral scale still activated. But I went for Keldeo thinking I could get a Skull Burn and then I can set up with Thunderous. Yeah, but you also have to get that burn if you're gonna pull that off. Since I showed the early days, Keldeo is gonna fall here. There is no question really, you know, what's gonna happen there. So I lose Kelly right there and then that's not as it's it's not a great option there. Uh, and of course here comes Air Class and it goes with bullet punch and it won't really do anything. But like I said, had it been burned, I could have set up a sub against him and uh, then go for nasty plot and then just wrap the game up. But that didn't happen. So you know fuck it. Uh, <laughs> so all I can do here is basically wait in Hiriyama to come in and decide whether or not I should sack something. And I decided here that since it's most likely to go Rise Punch, I can't switch in Dragonite and need Dragonite for the rest of his team still. As uh, so I go for a Substitute, just kind of scout what he's feeling. He goes for Ice Punch and I basically, yeah, fuck it. I, I have to lose our class here. And that really sucks because like I said there, had I got the burn, I could have gone for that nasty plot. And that would have mean that Thunderbolt would have wanted KO this mon. So, ugh, I hate stuff like this. I really do because he will live it, obviously. And um, Ice Punch gonna knock us out. And uh, I am at least faster than Hiriyama with my Stoutland. While I've not been fully invested in speed, I am still faster because Hiriyama is still slow. So I'm just gonna go for a safe return here. And um, that's gonna force in the Heatron. And you would be thinking, since the damage I do, I know this thing is speedy, that I would have been able to switch out this situation, right? Uh uh. Uh uh. I am feeling it, I am really feeling it. He goes for Stealth Rock, lucky me, and I go for Superpower, knock out the Heatron. So, you know, that's that's some ballsy place there, because I do believe Power Blast kills us. It does. And I think Flash kind of puts us down to 80%, that it's a roll if you can't kill him or not. But, uh, yeah, we knock out the Heatron, no problem there. Issue is, Superpower forces down to one, or, you know, minus one here. And that basically means that Cuddly can take a hit, and I'm not feeling I could say, and I should probably go for it or for a crunch, basically get as much damage as I can. But I didn't do that. I went directly for Rex, and uh, he goes to Trick Room, of course. 
And the, the issue with the trick room is that, hell, I can't outspeed now. But I was so sure it's gonna try to scold me, trying to, uh, trying to break me apart, and I knew Crunch definitely would put him in near KO range. And uh, Crunch was basically the safer call here. Issue is, he goes, of course, for the Hariyama, which will actually crunch the crunch. He will not take any damage whatsoever, or, you know, it hurts him, but, you know, it's still Hariyama. they has got plenty of HP, so while it does a lot of damage, it's still a little damage on a fat Hariyama. So, at this point, I was feeling, alright, he's gonna go for close combat, right? So, I have to go Dragonite. I had to soak that hit, because I really need to stall at the Trick Room now, don't I? And I only have three offensive mods, so how the hell do I pull that off? Uh, so, it goes to close combat. And we're not taking this well. We are not taking it well at all. It does roughly 60, 6 HP. So um, after um, after a sand buff, I know I have a small chance of surviving. So I'm just gonna go for Roos, hoping for the best, since he has speed naturally. And we do manage to live, which is awesome because one HP, fake sash, and uh, I was so sure that all right now with the buff of the sandstorm. We got the Hiriyama in the bag, it's now dead, right? Right? I I hate this game. Like, in situations like this, you kind of want to see that guy go down. But no, no, it's still standing. I don't see anything. Um, so anyway, I have to go for full fear, hoping for an ice punch. And basically hope the buff of the sand takes him out. And, uh, you know, that's a solid tactic to go for ice punch. We do take him, which is really nice, actually. But to Sandstorm subsides, I was like, no! No! <laughs> Luckily, though, the Trick Room is also over, so he's forced to go for a Bullet Punch, which works for us, and we're gonna retaliate with the Return. So, you know, that's alright, right? <laughs> but that was like, oh, shit. <laughs> so, anyway, here you go, comes it now the Whimsicott. So, I only got Digger Speed, Whimsicott, and Slowbro left. Uh, so, we're free for free, but, you know, I'm not winning this matchup, and it goes for Tailwind. And this was basically, alright. All right, this is this is probably GG. We are not, we're not gonna deal with the Digger Speed nice now. I still have Shuka Berry, but I got prior damage on my Tyranitar, so I was feeling I, I might not be able to take that actually. Uh, so he goes to Saga Bolts, and um, yeah, that's gonna just yeah, it's clean and KO on my poor poor Fulf. But Fulf did well actually this game, more well than I thought he would. I think he got two kills, which is kind of cool, uh, without the Sandry. <laughs> As then I go to Tyranitar, going for superpower with of course Rex. I have a 70% chance of surviving this earthquake, so I'm feeling that I still could pull this off. Um, but the thing is here, it doesn't really matter what happens now because he slow road basically wins the game no matter what. But he goes for earthquake and the roll is not in my favor. I think that's like a fifth time this season, which is freaking perfect. But yeah, he basically at this point I sent him GG champ because he got me. He got me good. And this game was really, really, really cool app. I was so glad to have this game. I don't really mind the outcome. I, I actually don't because I think it was so close to the very end and it was so many variations. And maybe that sister situation did matter. Uh, and maybe I should have played that game part smarter. But the, the outcome of this game, like the, the shift of momentum was so great that you know, I, I really didn't mind losing. I was thinking this was probably one of the best games I had the whole season because, like I said, the exchange of momentums are so good. And for some some reason, we we're actually pretty darn close of winning. So that's I'm very happy with this game. So okay, you know, obviously the afterthoughts and whatnot. And um, yeah, I should say this: like the, the reason that Shook uh, Berry didn't matter, I would have gone with, like I said, superpower there. And that would definitely have KO'd uh, the, the Digger Speed. But then we have, since I have minus one, and his uh, re Regenerator Slowbro would still come in, it's very likely, or he would have gone a Trick Room, right? And then Skull Burn me to death. Um, Crunch would not have been able to KO him, and I would have been in a very, very bad situation with my Tranitar. That minus one, I wouldn't do enough damage. And then when Dragonite comes in, he would have gone for an Ice Beam, and that would kill, of course, Dragonite. So he still got me, like the Tailwind situation helped, but um, it was pretty much decided once Diggersby got the clean sweep, like there was, there was nothing for me there. Uh, and I think App plays this game very nicely. Uh, he had a hiccup from the start, of course, he didn't expect Dragonite to be so well rounded for this match. Hell, I didn't expect that either. Uh, but then we have, like I said, the situation against his sister, against mine. And uh, yeah, I feel I played that one really badly. 
Um, not not badly per se, but I did the wrong call. Since I had Marvel Scale Dragonite, once I lose, lost this or I could have just gone to Dragonite, taken a hit, and I would have been fine. Uh, instead, I lost both Thunders and Keldeo uh, because of that situation. Like I said, for some reason, I thought, or actually, I really wanted that burn on uh, on the sister because I knew, wow, that situation pretty much wrap up the game. But you know, that's the thing. That's that's the way I play, and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And uh, I really didn't mind it didn't because this game was really, really, really cool. Um, because the thing is. There are a lot of good plays here throughout this match. I think Ab really you know worked his way defensively, keeping the Hariyama healthy really good. Uh, I thought that was really incredible. Just just watching that again, I really see Ab having that thought process. How how do I manage to preserve this mod without losing half my team? And I think it did is that right. Um, and the other part which uh, I really liked uh, is actually with myself. Uh, when I have three offensive mon left, like Dragonite. Uh, Stoutland and Tyranitar, and I am against the Hiriyama, which outspeeds us in Trick Room. I still managed to preserve those three months. Um, not kill, he, he doesn't get to kill any of them. And I saw out <laughs> the Trick Room and coming out on top. Um, having defensive plays with offensive months are the worst. Like, that rarely works, uh, but I got that right. And, uh, you know, for what it's worth, like, even if I don't win the game, I think I played a game good at that point. I think I played a game really good overall outside of that sister situation. But at the same time, he took the same kind of risk as I did. Because had I won the sister situation, it would of course knock off his force stats. And uh, he would probably have lost this game too. So it was it was a gamble and we did a very, very early, early game with both of us. And um, it was definitely open-ended at that part. And uh, yeah, like I said, we lose the game, sure. And you know, that is, for what it's worth, it's unfortunate. But the game was simply that good, like I don't mind losing a game where the caliber of both players are this high. And uh, I'm still a runner-up, like <laughs> I still, you know, defended my division uh, when it comes to coming out on top for some reason. And um, <laughs> I'm saying that, like, it's frustrating I actually made it, I, like, playoff, fine, uh, kept going, not losing. God damn it, guys, you need to get better, you need to beat me. I didn't have to go this far to be beaten. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes aside though, um, Ab, congratulations champ, you are the worry champion here, and I can easily see why. Um, I did think that for, us, for such a slow team, you managed to deal with the speed I have, and uh, I mean, what else can I say? This is very, very nicely done, and um, I don't mind losing. I don't mind losing this at all. Um, but with that said, I'm gonna do a bit of a wrap-up video, I'm sure. Um, but um, I'm gonna just say for you guys who don't want to watch that that this is my last season in LBA. Um, not, not forever though. It's just for um, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire uh, or Generation Six. I'm not going to be a part of the next season until Sun and Moon is out. Uh, and I got to clear on that, or basically I I'm welcome to come back once that hits off. But uh, for the time being, I am just I'm not tired of Pokemon. Um, but I can't juggle two two leagues well, and uh, I really need the, the extra time for other stuff. So don't get me wrong, I love the leagues, I love the league format, but at the time being, I simply can't wrap my head around two leagues, and uh, I just want to break from it all. Uh, so uh, we, we're playing for TBU, of course, um, to, for the remaining weeks. And uh, basically after that, we go to have a bit of a hibernation when it comes to leagues. Um, but like I said, I gotta clear on it, and uh, the guys at LBA are of course uh, welcoming you back once I'm feeling frisky enough. Because it's of course very obvious that I, I know what I'm doing, making playoff twice. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I want to thank every, every opponent that I had in the LBA, and we, I will talk more about that in the wrap up video. But this has been an awesome season, and uh, I'm very glad I came this far. I don't know how, but we did it. So, for everybody who's been watching, thank you so much for doing just so. And I'll see you in the wrap-up video. And uh, with that said, thank you for watching, guys. Bye.